spent several years documenting humanitarian issues throughout Africa. I had heard that very poor African women were being encouraged and even coached to open their own banks. I really didn't get it. How could someone who's struggling to feed their family save, let alone lend money to someone else? So in 2008, I went to Malawi to see for myself how these so-called village savings and loan programs really work. Most of the people in Malawi, which is one of the poorest countries in the world, are subsistence farmers living on less than a dollar a day. Genesee, her husband and daughters, were one of those families. She and her husband Aya could not even afford the clothing to send their daughters to school. Food itself was a luxury item for several months out of the year. Genesee clearly remembers that day eight years ago when CARE came to her village to present the VSNL program. Seventy people went to that meeting, but it wasn't long before Genesee and 60 others walked out. CARE offered no grants, no loans. Genesee was just very skeptical. At first, I went to join the group without much confidence. I was the one discouraging my friends from joining VSNL. I had a change of heart when I saw what was happening with my friends and decided to go. Once in the group, Genesee committed to save 20 cents a week. She stuck with it. And today, five years later, the results I saw were almost unbelievable. In the very first year, she took out a loan to buy fertilizer. That crop fed her family for the entire year. This caught her husband's attention. He started giving her money from his carpentry business to save. Today, their three daughters are in school. They've not only purchased an ox cart and livestock, but they've also purchased farmland and land to build rental houses. As in so many developing countries, women here grow the food, they collect the firewood and water, they take care of the children and animals, but rarely do they handle the family's income. Yet it's women's discipline to save and repay loans that make VSNL such a success. And it's women's tendencies to invest in their families that make VSNL so effective in fighting poverty. At first it was just getting a cash, hand, it's like hand to mouth. Once they get the money, they could use it immediately. But now when the woman started uh, saving in sev village savings and loans, they are able to keep a lot of money and use it to achieve bigger things in life. The people now in this community, almost each and every person has an interest so that he can go to join VS and Yale after seeing what the women are doing. The community now respects the women. Now, that's progress. Eight years after CARE started that very first VSNL group in Genesee's village, 25 groups have started on their own without depending on any outside support. The benefits, which are visible to everyone, just keep the groups multiplying. Elise is the treasurer of one of the 65 groups in her community. She became a member of a VSNL group in 2006 and has never looked back. <laughs> Before the VS and L program came to the area, I was so destitute, I was nobody. Soon after the introduction of VS and L, my life really improved from zero to somebody. When I met Elise, her group was getting ready to take the next step. They were pulling their money to start a poultry business, and they wanted to make their community the poultry capital of the whole district. When we have a group business, it not only means our own households are better off, but the whole community is stronger. Kaundama will be known for where the women have a poultry business. Now, after visiting over 40 groups, I realized that the VSNL process not only tackles poverty, but it instills pride, and it strengthens relationships between women and relationships between husbands and wives. And most importantly, 
It empowers and it builds respect for women. And women's empowerment is so central in the fight against poverty. I could never imagine having a cell phone, buying iron sheets for the roof and peace. In my heart, I have peace. Everything I want in my life is available. Oh, my.